Hello, this is Hiker Paul with you on this Monday, October 2nd, 2023, and welcome. I come to you with this hat, and uh, I said I'd explain sometimes why I wear different hats. You know, in life, we all wear different hats, so to speak. Uh, we might be a parent, uh, we might be a child, uh, you know, learning from the parents. We might be a teacher, we might be a leader in the workplace, or... Uh, a craftsman in the workplace and uh, you know we're, we're, we're all citizens navigating life and uh, we have family dynamics to navigate and so we all uh, have different roles different hats to wear and God is uh, here to help us uh, navigate the different roles that we walk in uh, the different hats so to speak that we wear and uh, I come to you this morning with the, the part two of the, the seven part series that I'm doing uh, on uh, some of the ramifications of being born again. And uh, I, I know, I've, I'm sure I've said this before, that, that I don't come to you as any kind of a Bible scholar or grand theologian. I come to you as someone who's looking to learn with you. Uh, there's a lot of really great uh, Bible scholars out there. I like, I really like Mike Winger on, on YouTube. Uh, everything I've listened to, at least I found him to be very solid. So if you want, you want to follow someone on YouTube, uh, he, I think he'd be a great one. And there are many uh, Bible teachers across uh, the, the globe that, that are excellent theologians and Bible teachers. And uh, I, I come to you merely as one to to share uh, uh, what 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 I know and uh, that perhaps we can grow together. Uh, so I don't come to you with any lofty titles or uh, errors that I'm any kind of a grand theologian. So at any rate, let's continue this uh, second part series uh, on being born again. The first one that we are children of God. And on this one, uh, that uh, when we are born again, uh, there, there then is then no condemnation. And uh, uh, this, I think, a, a really good Bible scholar could perhaps handle better than I. That's why I bring this subject up, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. I, I found a couple notes on a fellow, and I wished I would have written his name down. Um, but uh, I, I'll, I'll give it a go of, of reading some dynamics. As we get into uh, No Condemnations and, and, and Paul's letter to the Romans, and it's Paul's letter to us, and it's quite a, a theologically based book, but one of application also. And uh, we, we see that with a significant word, uh, therefore. And uh, I always, in Ephesians and in other books, he says, therefore. So basically what he's saying is that everything I just showed you and taught you theologically, therefore, this is how you apply it. And uh, that's what we ought to be uh, ascribing to do is applying scripture in our life, applying theology that it's not just head knowledge, but it's it's life knowledge that we're living God's way. So uh, Romans 8, 1, therefore, there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. And then if you can imagine a courtroom uh, where someone is guilty and they appear before the judge and the judge says, condemned. And, uh, you know, we all fall short and uh, we are worthy in the sight of God to be condemned because he is holy. We are not, but through Christ and his work and our walking with Christ and accepting what he's done, uh, we can walk uh, where the judge would say, not condemned. He's with Jesus. Let him into the uh, to the holiness of, of God for all eternity or her. Uh, and, and that's a wonderful thing uh, to be born again and not walk under condemnation anymore, but walk in the spirit of God uh, instead of the, that, that uh, death walk. So uh, in, in Paul's letters uh, in 116 to 17, uh, in, in the earlier part of Romans, Paul presents the importance of, of the good news and everything i'm talking about is the good news is because we can have life everlasting through christ because we are uh, worthy to be condemned in the sight of god apart from christ so the good news is that we can have life everlasting through christ and uh in romans 1 16 to 17 uh paul says for i'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of god that brings salvation to everyone who believes first to the jews then to the gentiles for in the gospel 
gospel is the righteousness of God, uh, for in the righteousness, or, excuse me, for in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith uh, from the first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. And then uh, Paul goes on to develop the, the need for the good news in, in Romans chapters 1, 18 through uh, mid 320, uh, you know, mid chapter 3, where, you know, where, uh, where it talks about uh, how we all are under sin and, and worthy of condemnation uh, apart from Christ and, and the, the need for the gospel in our life. And then in, in chapters 3 through 4, then Paul explains the gospel. And, and then in 8.1, he, he concludes uh, his theological backing and then says, you know, therefore there is no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. And then, uh, uh, and then uh, it doesn't stop there. In chapters twelve through sixteen, uh, he challenges believers uh, to behave in a manner consistent with their new position of righteousness in Christ, which is a pretty big deal uh, for us to learn how to walk in it. So, in Romans eight one, in Christ, uh, well, well uh, how about if I read it again? Therefore, there is no condemnation for those those that are in Christ Jesus. So in Christ, we are no longer under the sentence of the law, but empowered by the Spirit to live for Christ. So may we be led and uh, by the Spirit and live by the Spirit and uh, not walk under condemnation anymore and uh, um, have a place uh, forever and ever in the presence of a holy God uh, through our acceptance of what Christ has done on, on the cross that allows us to not be under condemnation, uh, but to be in right relationship with God. So we're not in right relationship with God by following the law or being good people or doing good things. We are right uh, in the sight of God uh, through what Christ has done for us on the cross and our acceptance of it. And therefore, we do not walk under condemnation as we walk in the spirit uh, that he has put inside of us uh, and, and that is a glorious thing. So until next time.